everybody, this is Dave and welcome back to Talking Wars. We're back for another video today, a new transfer video as Wars have announced a yet again another signing this summer in the shape of Renat Dadishov from, uh, well, he is an Azerbaijan international. Uh, we signed him up from Estoril over in Portugal. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about him. Be sure to hit the like button down below, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and let me know. If you have any thoughts on this in the comment section down below. We're going to be talking about this signing as well as a few other aspects and factors of this signing which could affect Wolves uh, and, and what I've seen the fans address today as well since the signing of the youngster. So, as I said, signed from Estoril over in Portugal. Uh, Renat is a 20-year-old striker at six foot one. I've watched him uh, a little bit on, on the YouTube clips just to get an idea of what sort of player he is and so on. And to be fair, I couldn't judge too highly on it because I, I actually personally I thought the quality of defending in some of the clips it, it was international youth level it looked like he was playing someone like Spain or someone but the quality of the defending was diabolical but he took his couple of chances looked quite threatening quick on his feet for quite a big fella in and around the area as well um, so Walls of signing today from Estoril uh, it was broken by Birmingham Live this morning and then it very, very quickly followed up by the club confirming it about 20 minutes to half an hour later as well. Um, started his youth career at TSV uh, Bleidenstadt, uh, moved to Wehen Wiesbaden in Germany, moving to Eintracht Frankfurt, RB Leipzig, and then back to Eintracht Frankfurt before he signed his professional deal at Estoril last season. In the league, scoring four goals in 22 appearances, albeit probably not all starts due to his age and experience. Uh, obviously, then Wolves have signed him up and loaned him straight away to Pacos de Ferreira, who are a Portuguese team that have just been promoted from the first division to the top division in Portugal. In regards to his international youth career, you've probably read that he's represented both Azerbaijan and Germany. So uh, at an under-16 level, he was able to represent both nations, Azerbaijan, where he scored one goal in four games, and Germany, where he scored four goals in six games. Uh, between 2015 and 2016, for Germany under-17s, he scored a massive 13 goals in 15 games. If you look on YouTube, the majority of his clips are probably at that time when he was at Germany. He looked prolific, he looked fantastic. And to be honest, for me, if you're looking at a kid at that age, you're at an under 17s international level and a kid is popping in 13 goals in 15 games. It's quite surprising for me that a team probably hasn't picked him up a little bit earlier. I suppose in Germany the rules are slightly different with, with youth players playing. They've got to reach a certain age before they can play first team and maybe that's what impacted that. He then moved on to Azerbaijan under 21 level uh, where he scored two goals in four games and now he's representing the Azerbaijan national team which he has done for the last two years and he's picked up three appearances for the national team. Team. Now, Dadishov will be loaned out to uh, the team uh, in the shape of Pacos de Ferreira. They've just been promoted. They won promotion from the first tier. Um, or the second tier of Portuguese football to move into the Premier Division now um, the team uh, that he's joining is the team that Diogo Jota really sort of made his name there in Portugal he had a few years at Pacos de Ferreira and really sh uh, you know, showed how good a player he was that's why he then moved to Atletico Madrid where he had loan spells at the likes of uh, Porto and uh, obviously Wolves as well um, but this one is is very interesting because I know a lot of people have said, why? What is the point in Wolves bringing in this guy? No disrespect, he's got no real name for himself, no real um, praise, no real uh, recognised potential, you could say. Um, he's not a name. If, if someone, I, I guarantee 99% of the people watching this video before today didn't know who he was. Now... Um, I know we had a lot of comments on Talking Wolves about that. Now, I've, I've got to address those because um, Wolves are now taking this approach, um, this, I could say, big club approach, because this is what clubs do now. We know Fosun, their first intention when they come into this football club is to make money. Uh, and as fans, you can whether you like it or not, that is their number one intention. Now, with signings like this, with signings like... Uh, a lot of the young lads that have come through the door. Uh, with signings like all the scholars that have come through, which I'd probably say 50% are, are foreign players, Wall's key aim here is to buy cheap and sell high. And and that's the way a business runs. They're going to be making money. Now, to be fair to Renat, he looks like he's got a little bit of something. And that's what Walls have brought him in for. There's no fee uh, bandished about. I'd assume potentially he's signed on a free transfer. Now, if he has... 
Uh, Wars will loan him out. Hopefully he hits the ground running in the Premier Division of Portugal. He's going to be playing up against the likes of Porto, Benfica. All he needs to do there, have a good performance or two against these big Portuguese teams. And you, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, his value could always be rising. But if he can knock 5-10 goals in at that level, you know there is something about him. And... Um, whether or not, you know, there's every chance Dadashov may never play for Wolves, like we've seen with a couple of these young players that are really highly touted. Uh, but Wolves' key aim here, here is to obviously bring him in, see if he's any good. If he is, brilliant, get him in the first team. If not, or he's not quite at the level, okay, sell him on for a fee. Uh, if not, we'll loan him out, sell him for really cheap, or get rid of him on a free. And Wolves haven't really lost any money other than, you know, the wages they've sort of spent on him and, and so on but I've, I think that um, again an, an, another comment was that what's the point in bringing him in if he's not going to be playing uh, or you know it, if he's not good enough what's the point um, could you see Dadashov or what's the point in bringing him in and loaning him out what's, could you see Dadashov breaking into the first team ahead of Raul Jimenez, Diogo Jota uh, and uh, Patrick Catrone definitely not so what's the point in us keeping him on the bench as a second striker and not giving him game time and stunting his progression. You want to loan him out. And to be fair to Pacos de Ferreira, they're a decent level for a young player. 20 years of age, if he can break into a team at the top division in one of the major, you could say probably major, footballing nations, then he's got every chance to become a, a decent player. Of course, we don't know a huge amount about him at the moment, but I'm sure we'll learn more. Uh, the Pacos de Ferreira games are much easier to watch, especially now in the, they're in the Premier Liga in, the, in Portugal as well. But I'm really looking forward to this one. I watched his interview before recording this video. He seems like a really down-to-earth lad who wants to work hard, knuckle down. You know, he seemed like it was his dream come true to join Wolves and, and join a Premier League team. There was a little segment where he says, my agent called me and told me, and I said I couldn't believe it. I, I thought he was joking. And I thought, now is that because, you know, Wolves are such a big club, or is that because... The, you didn't, you don't think you're ready for that level or you don't think you're that level of player. I don't know. But I am looking forward to him. But he seems a likeable guy. And um, hopefully he can do his talking on the football pitch as well. We've had a few failed players in this regime. No disrespect to Rafa Mir. I don't think that's turned out how they would want to. But he's still got that little bit of potential there. Hence why he's been loaned out to a championship side. But there has been, uh, you know, also the likes of Leo Bonatini. Don't know what's happening there, Roderick Miranda. But on the other hand, that's just a small minority of all the huge transfers that Wolves have got right since Fosun have come in. So, Renet Dadashov, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Take a look at some of his YouTube clips, let me know what you think of that as well. And uh, best of luck to, for him in Portugal in the next year or so. And maybe, who knows, the Azerbaijani international could well... Um, Oh, could well be Wolves number 9 in the future. Until then, guys, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all very soon.